Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Sweetie in the three-minute pool in ICC. They open with g6, a quick g6, bishop g7. Let's play g3, and then uh, go for this line. Uh, d6, okay, I'm going to play, I'm going to do like a delayed castling type thing. I'm actually going to go for like b4, if possible. Whoa, knight a5, what is this? Okay, let's defend that pawn. This player's playing really fast. I think they're trying to beat me to the, to the punch and play b5. I feel like I use that phrase all the time, <laughs> but it's it's very ap applicable in chess situations. Beat one to the punch. Okay, I'm going to take and then play b4 probably after this. Um, that's going to force their knight backwards, so I've kind of gained a tempo compared to normal, huh? Maybe I can put that to use somehow. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to go here. So knight takes b5 as a threat. Kind of weird. Um, but maybe I try to go bishop h6 too? It's castle. Hmm. All right, so this pawn is weak, but if I play knight e4, I'm guessing they're going to put their queen somewhere. Oh, let's try it, though. I kind of like the look of this. Haven't even had a chance to take a look at who my opponent is. Doesn't say. No name listed. Um, queen e7, so defending the pawn. Uh, let's see, bishop g5, they'll play f6. Then maybe get like a pawn roller going. Bishop f4, they can play e5. I'm going to try to induce the e5 weakness though. Let me see if I can get them to play that. And then let's go here. And then... Let's go here. And then I'm thinking uh, knight here and try to work into the d5 square. Or do I want to play bishop g5 back first? If I take, I'm not going to come up with anything. Take bishop c5, they can just flee. So let's just go here. Strange play already. I mean, knight f6 should be played probably by them. Um, okay, knight d2. They can probably just castle against that. Bishop g5 or bishop h6, both seem slow. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. And I expect them to do something. Okay, they just move their queen. Hmm. Knight d5 is just going to be a bunch of trades. Let's go here. I'd really like to play knight d5 soon, clearly. Rook over. Hmm. Okay, let's go queen b2. We'll get off the file. I think that's important. Knight d4. Setting up tactics. Like e3, rook takes c3. But, okay, let's just go here. Try to play e3 and kick the knight out without having to worry about knight takes e2. I'm down a boatload of time though. So I gotta go fast. Hmm. Okay, let's take that. E3, anyone? Hmm. Am I winning material now? Oh, they can go there. I didn't see that. Uh, okay, let's do this now. I'm going to trade some stuff. I'm going to go here. Maybe queen b3 soon is a good idea. Try to x-ray that knight on e6. I feel like I'm somewhat better now. I mean, rook a7 is a threat. Hmm. Maybe I can come into a5 and attack this pawn. They've got some logistical issues. Uh, do I really have nothing against that? Okay, let's just go into a5. Well, they have bishop d8. That was inaccurate by me, that last move. Okay. Time warning. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm just going to go back because I don't see anything else. Solo on time now. Let's take here. And then bring the queen in. Mm hmm. Mm, let's go here. <laughs> I'm so low on time. As you can see. Oh, did I get my queen trapped? Oh, that was horrible. All right, resign. <laughs> 
Yeah. Their confident play in the opening just got me in this game. Night A5 really threw me off. I didn't know what Night A5 was about, but... I mean, they are threatening to take on C4, because Queen A4 check, there's B5. I mean, maybe I can play Knight takes B5, but it's kind of a lot to calculate in a three-minute game. Let's go back and take a look, though. So Knight F3 and G6. G6 is a pretty good response to Knight F3. Um, you know, one move I always forget to play here is E3, trying to go D4. It's an interesting option. But uh, G3... Knight c6, bishop g2, d6. This is kind of a, a trendier way to play the position. Um, normal would be knight f6, or sometimes people play knight h6. But uh, d6, a lot of times endeavors to, like after castles, play bishop d7. And then I've seen a, a, a few games where black goes like queen c8 and bishop h3 really quick and leaves open like h5, h4. Possibility of a rook pawn push. So I just wanted to avoid committing my king for the moment, so that's why I played a3, a6, rook b1, knight a5, and then d3. Seems fine. I think all told, maybe I just have to play faster, really, in these games, or in this position. I've actually been doing okay on the, on the clock in three minutes lately. Um, so take there, so maybe I should have taken with the rook, attacking this a couple times. Hmm. So then at bishop d7, just castles. And probably black's b5 pawn is weaker than my a3 pawn, from the looks of it. So maybe rook takes b4. I just automatically took with a pawn. Um, and then queen c1, I was trying to be tricky. Threatening knight takes b5 with the discovered attack on the knight on c6. And also ena enabling me to play bishop h6 if black's knight should move. But they played a good move, bishop d7. I castled, e6, knight e4, knight g5 is good. That's kind of a random looking knight move. So that opens up an attack on c6. So I guess I'm threatening knight takes b5 once again. I've renewed that threat. Rook takes b5, bishop takes c6. And if something like here, knight g e4 attacking this pawn, and maybe bishop h6 and the f6 square is also weak, that could be. I played knight e4, they went queen e7. Yeah, and I burned a lot of time right around here trying to figure out like the best uh, order. Maybe not these moves so much, but yeah. Kind of right around here, I guess. I mean, the other problem is black's playing like super fast. Like a lot of their moves are kind of forced, like e5. I'm attacking d6, so that's pretty much just a given. f6, also a given. They're not going to put themselves in a pin by playing like knight f6 here. So f6 and... I don't know. Didn't seem like I got anything either. Well, if I had more time, I definitely would have uh, probably been thinking more in a position like this. Because I have a slight lead in development. Like, I'm already castled and they're not. They need to move their knight out and castle. So, maybe with a little more time on my clock, I could have found a move like knight g5. But that's the challenge of these three-minute games. Playing good moves, but also playing really fast at the same time. And now you can see I'm worse, according to the computer. Knight d4 was tricky, because if e3, then there's rook takes c3. And if I take the knight, they can take here, I thought. Or I guess they could take on d4 too and support the rook. So hence why I played rook f e1. Uh, bishop c6. I traded. Maybe e3 was also playable. And I thought for a second I had trapped their knight, but <laughs> then it dawned on me that, oh, they just retreated their knight to e6. And then I took, and yeah, I mean, maybe I have an edge here. Possibly I should go directly for rook a1. Or maybe play the other rook to c1. But um, time, time, time. 30 seconds left, and, I'd, and I wasn't able to remotely challenge black's position, even though I got the rook to a1. Th this move was a weak move, rook a5. They could play bishop d8 and repel the rook, amongst other things. The knight on e6 is vulnerable, so I was looking at ways to like move my knight and attack it, but where can I go to do that? I mean, if I take on f6, they're taking with the king, and thereby defending the knight. So, I played rook a5, but just came up short at the end. Here I noticed they might be threatening some stuff with, like, rook c1. And if I play king g2, the queen on b7 is craftily placed because I'm in a pin automatically there. So I just moved the rook back, but it was downhill after this. Even after queen g8, knight e6 seemed to cover everything, and 
yeah, I just got my, my queen trapped in the final, the waning seconds of the game. Um, okay, so well played by Black. Uh, good time management and really pressured me. Um, hmm, not sure about the early knight a5. Probably not a good idea, but certainly playable. I wish I would have taken with a rook. That's what I would do differently in the opening. Rook takes b4. Put pressure on b5. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.